All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Benjamin, and uh, well, today I am a little bit on the uh, worn out end of the spectrum, so instead of doing analysis or anything like that, we're going to do some campaign trail and talk a little bit about uh, the history. And we're not going to do 2016, um, either one, probably not 2012, 2000. 88? Really? They added 88. That's a tough one. Huh. Hmm. Let's... Hmm. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do... Let's go ahead and do... Um, 88. And talk about, I guess, the 80s. And we're going to pick Dan Quayle. Um, though Dole and Jack Kemp are... We're going to pick Dan Quayle, though. And we're going to play on normal difficulty and talk a little bit. Yeah, I mean... Let's be honest, Bush had a very simple task in 88, which was run on the economy, run on Reagan. And I think that's a very good idea. Let's see. And Bush also wanted to be very connected to Reagan because Reagan was popular. Um, he didn't want to focus... It, there's some things he did. And there's a lot of ground here, but it's also very good... Uh, uh, no... go here uh, continue it good one bait You know, no. I'm trying to remember whether or not they had uh, Dan Quayle in key areas. But I'm going to play it safe and not do this. Okay, so that was what Bush did. Okay, that's very good. It's going to be... Okay. And of course, um, a lot of people and Bush himself focused very heavily on attacking Dukakis, especially on criminal justice. Um, Um, we'll go ahead and attack it. Damn, I, I forgot that there was, yeah, okay. Yeah. Focus on that. Okay. Let's 
try and do this. Good, good, good. We, we really need that. Okay, we're going to go to Illinois, I guess. I, if I remember correctly, Bush did hammer home capital punishment. But I don't think he was too crazy. And here's the thing that Bush, admitted, uh, Bush did. Read my lips. No new taxes. And it's incredibly important to remember how vital that was. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's very effective. Go focus on all. Um, okay. Certainly need to make some inroads. Missouri is a key swing state. I think I think this is a very um, that's a moderate answer. And that, in this era, in the 80s, by the way, I should mention that while conservatism was definitely um, something important, if you watch the primary debates between Reagan and Bush, uh, they often talk about the, you know, a lot of the campaign uh, rhetoric, especially during the primaries, was actually very moderate on a lot of issues, or at least what we would consider moderate today. Um, going to focus. Okay. Yep. See that? There we go. That helps us a lot. We're going to go to Illinois. Yeah, yeah. So that was that question was highlighting a very, very, very famous um, president, a vice presidential debate moment where uh, Dan Quayle was asked about his experience, or more accurately, his lack thereof, um, in his debate against uh, Lloyd Benson of Texas. Dan Quayle responded to this question by saying, I have as much experience in the Congress as Jack Kennedy did when he became president. To which Lloyd Benson lit up Dan Quayle with the famous, uh, I knew Jack Kennedy. I worked with Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. You, sir, are no Jack Kennedy. We're going to go with this one. Oh, yes, that really helped. Okay. But 
as you can see, there's a lot of There we go. Try and be moderate, which is a smart thing. Yeah, that kind of hurt there. Probably should have. Well, we're up there, up there, up there, up, tied, up. Okay. Yeah, just don't say anything. Uh, there we go. We won't be increasing taxes. That always helps. Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, be reasonable. There we go. That really helped. <laughs> Except in Oregon for whatever reason. I'm going to visit California. Honestly, California is going to be very important. All right, so we're going to sit back and watch this. But the thing is, 88 really wasn't all that close at the end of the day. Um, and part of that was because of, well, Dukakis being Dukakis. Um, the whole image of him wearing the tank is a major... Um, major memory of the 88 campaign, but also of his debate answer where he responded that he would not push for the death penalty. Of course, the question was not a really good question to ask um, if we're 100% honest. Uh, ooh, this is not good. If we're being 100% honest, um, the question was not a very good question for the uh, moderator to ask regarding, um, well, a very bad situation uh, regarding Dukakis's wife. Um, and a very, it's a hypothetical, I don't think, I'm not going to read state on this channel wow really that's a shock because the reality is this was not a close election um if we go to the election map missouri went red these states if i i think it was just uh south dakota went red california and oregon went red um if i remember correctly pennsylvania michigan Iowa, Missouri, Connecticut went red too. Um, it, it wasn't a close election. And Dukakis really didn't have a chance of winning. Um, so let's go back in time to 1960 
And let's see if I can get Richard Nixon to win. I, I want to see if I can do that. He chose Henry Cabot Lodge, and we're going to go with that. Because that was actually a reasonably good ticket. Okay. We're going to tie ourselves as closely to Eisenhower as possible. There we go. So, yeah, that we, we absolutely do need to remember that some of the key states in this election were Illinois, which a lot of Republicans say was stolen from them, um, Ohio, and a few others. Um, let's campaign on success. Okay. I'm trying to remember what the correct way to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're up there. Up there. We really do need New York. There we go, we're going to campaign on the record of Eisenhower. There we go. Okay. We're up. We're up in the new states. Remember, these were new states in 1960. We're up in Texas, which is very good. And we also have to remember... Oh, yeah, by the way, there is, uh, you know... We do have to remember there is uh, the Catholic issue, which... And, by the way, just about every state is hawkish on the Cold War, so... We do need Illinois. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. Yep. And always tie yourself to Eisenhower in this version. Okay, we do need Maryland. Well, do we? Pennsylvania, okay, we're up in Pennsylvania, which is very important. New York is definitely a nice to have. Uh, yeah. Can't make any promises, try and be reasonable. Uh, you know what? We're going to do this.
Yeah, kind of hurts a little bit. Ooh, I'm going to be very careful here. Yeah, stay clear of that. I'm trying to be very, very, very careful here. Because this was one of those really close elections. Okay, there we go. There we go. Be a little, uh, what did that do? Okay. Okay, up there, we're up there. That's very good, I like that. We're up there. If we can get Illinois, that might be a good thing. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. We're going to focus on... I think it's this one. God dang it. Uh, that hurts. That really hurts. Um, hmm. we do need to visit Ohio. Uh, we're going to be doing this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We're remember we're following Eisenhower's lead. Okay, that helps. We need to go to California. Still up in South Carolina. Okay, we really need to be careful. Pennsylvania is a must win. Okay, we should always be concerned about the in, and this is going to be the last one. That kind of, that's probably going to hurt. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I lost it with the answer of yeah. I know this is lost. I'm almost positive about this. Yep, we need 
that. Oh, thank goodness. That, that really does help with Eisenhower. Problem is, I don't think I'm going to win this. Uh, uh. Yeah, of course. But I'm going to lose this one. I know it for a fact. Yeah, see. And this wasn't even close. Yeah. Weirdly won Pennsylvania, which... I don't remember if Nixon actually won in real life. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, take it easy, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're new to the channel, likes, comments, subscriptions always do help, and I greatly appreciate them. Um, have a nice day. Bye-bye.